I'm Clay Newman. This is the Zoo Review. Today we discuss the second favorite animal of dark poet Edgar Allan Poe, the American Crow. I'm coming to you from the creepiest part of my grandfather's house, which is, of course, the garage. There are lots of tools which could be used to kill a man, plus sexy books for some reason. Lots of sexy books. This is the most ominous I could be. I'm not a especially ominous person. Even with the hoodie on, I just look even more like a techie for some reason. Well, we're going to be talking about the American Crow today. They've got a shinier purplish gloss to them compared to other crows and ravens. Plus, they've got a longer, thicker beak. Now, when it comes to baby birds, they go one of two directions. Cute as hell or ugly as shit. And baby crows are undeniably ugly as shit. Plus, they're incredibly <laughs> annoying in the morning. And they've got a super boring mating dance. When it comes to adorableness, here's the problem. Anybody who would describe the crow as their favorite animal would never be caught dead using the word adorable. And so in this category, I think they're cool, but they only get a score of 10. Very few animals have earned the title of ominous, so that's gonna get the crow a few badassness points. Nobody's ever looked at a bear tree full of chipmunks and thought, oh, that's not a good sign. A group of them is called a murder of crows, more than likely because back in the Middle Ages, they were seen at the end of every great battle picking meat off the dead bodies of fallen soldiers. Now, they're not exactly on the top of the food chain. You always see them getting punked by smaller birds who are worried that the birds are going to attack their babies. And crows do steal eggs every once in a while, but that's more rude than badass. In this category, I can only really give them a nine. Birds, in general, are not smart animals. As my grandpa once decided to repeatedly yell in the theater when we were watching March of the Penguins, they're bird-brained! They're very social birds. They sleep in communal roosts, sometimes as deep as two million crows. Young crows generally don't start breeding until they're close to four years old, but the family tie is so strong with these guys that the young still stick around for a couple years to help raise their siblings. It's one of the only times in the animal kingdom, and certainly with birds, where the mom, the dad, and the siblings all come together to get food and build a nest for their young. They're smart enough to trick other animals. They've been seen stealing food from otters, from ducks, and of course from unguarded dog food bowls across the country. They've even been seen using tools. Crows in the wild have been seen using sticks to jam into trees to try to work out food. But sometimes they use their powers for evil because they will drop a pine cone on your head if you get too close to their nest. Well, they don't quite have the problem-solving skills as their cousin the raven, but they are a wildly intelligent animal, and in this category, they get a score of 17. There are a couple things that go against the crow in terms of special skills. First off, they don't glide well, which to me feels like a goddamn waste of wings. Also, they're not strong enough to break through the skin of most animals, which really goes against you as a meat eater. Even a squirrel is too tough of a hide for a crow to get through. But they are smart and they are adaptable. They've learned that there are ways to get an animal with skin already broken. For example, other animals or cars, which is why you always see crows eating roadkill. Their best skill is mobbing, which is when crows come together to fight off predators. A lot of animals are selfish pieces of shit. When a lion takes down a gazelle, all the other gazelles look at it like, fuck Steve, not crows. They put the effort in. If a hawk takes out a crow, that crow's probably still gonna get eaten, but the hawk's gonna feel pretty goddamn bad about what he's doing while he's doing it. I think that's a cool special skill, and in this category, they get a score of 15. I think the American crow has a pretty goddamn good chance of making it. They can survive anywhere in the U.S. and Canada, with the exception of the deserty areas. That's fair. Who the fuck wants to live in Arizona? They eat just about anything, and while they do have a few weirdly specific weaknesses, like, for example, the West Nile virus, that could kill a crow faster than just about anything else, even though that disease barely affects any other birds. We've tried 
actively to eliminate them as a species multiple times. Actually, in 1949, human beings tried to kill thousands of crows using dynamite and shrapnel, but they didn't count on one thing. Crows would just fucking leave when they see a bunch of people setting up something that may or may not be dynamite and shrapnel. They're cool animals, they're smarter than dumb people in the 40s, and when it comes to will they make it, they got a score of 19 points. Well, the scores are in and angsty teens are celebrating around the world. Hot Topics are reopening because the crow has got 70 whole points. It's good enough for second place, just edging out the Sumatran tiger. Thank you guys again for tuning in to the Zoo Review. I appreciate it as always. If you have animal videos, send them my way. Find me on Instagram at clay.newman. Also, find out whoever got at Clay Newman and beat the shit out of him for me. You guys have a lovely rest of your day. Good night.